right here to receive general collective messages for the time that you're watching this. We always ask divine source like creator, guides of love and light only for guidance and connection and messages. So let's use the mystical dream tarot and see what information we need to know, learn in the moment watching this in the time being. Um, this is a timeless reading, so just take what resonates. And I do have some music playing in the background that I do not own rights to. And one more, please. Wow. Do we need two more? Okay. Wow. All right. The first card is the Ace of Swords. So this is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The swords can be related to words, communication, thoughts, mentality, beliefs. Aces is always a new beginning, something new, a new cycle, starting something. The Ace of Swords, though, is absolute clarity. It is truth and balance. It's cutting through nonsense, cutting through to the truth. This is the, the truth sword. It can be related to Archangel Michael's sword, but this is all about clarity, seeing clearly, focus, um, clear mentality, clear communication, clear belief system, um, karma law court possibly then we have the ace of cups another ace so the cups is water energy it's um cancer pisces scorpio and this is like a new feeling a new emotion it could be love it could be the heart chakra unconditional love self-love a start in clarity a start in focus um some new cycle to for balance, for clarity, for karma, um, cutting through to the truth with a new feeling, a new emotion, maybe a new love. Um, it could be heart healing, right? Alignment of the heart chakra. And then the last one is the Lord of Cups. So this is the King of Cups. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And the King of Cups has reached this balance and yin yang, uh, the scales in feelings, emotions, they, the king of cups is compassionate and loving, used to be sensitive, but not anymore. There's like this jump start here from the ace to the king. That's where the suit start is an ace and ends at a king. And so it's like this newfound clarity, this new focus, this new balance and truth in this jump start to a balance in our feelings and emotions, that balance in the heart. And it's like, is this heart consciousness? Is this Christ consciousness? Is this unconditional and self-love? That's what it seems like. This King of Cups balances two worlds very well. And very compassionate, having compassion, sympathy, and empathy. So very loving and very flowy, very kind, and very knowledgeable too. So let's get an oracle message, and we are going to use a mystical shaman oracle. Beautiful. And for some, it could be a possible new love, okay? And it just could be new love for yourself as well. Because an ace can be related to childlike energy, but the two aces, that's a number 11. That's also balance. And the 11th house in astrology is ruled by Aquarius, which is an air sign. And the 11th house is hopes, wishes, friends, community, humanitarianism. We are in the Aquarian age now. And that's my belief anyway. And it's also innovations, right? So the Lord of Cups, the King of Cups, total compassion, total sympathy, total empathy, total unconditional love, self-love. It does kind of remind me of Christ's energy. It really does. All right, let's see what the confirmation is from the mystical shaman oracle. Yeah, we have a card number eight. So eight could be significant to some of you, but the eight, eight is also the infinity symbol. So that is eternally connected to all that is. One is all, all is one, right? And it's also the balance between two energies, like the yin yang, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, bringing balance, balances two worlds very well, which can be the spiritual and the physical. And then it says the circle. So the circle, this reminds me of the collective and world, you know, and community. So the eight, eighth house in astrology is ruled by Scorpio, water sign, and it represents this total death rebirth. This ending a new beginning, this cycle, transformation, change. It's like the the death 
and rising from the ashes, right? Wow. Okay. Let's read on the circle. It's like we've all, we are all being called back to the center of ourselves, which is love, compassion, sympathy, right? And it does remind me of Christ consciousness. Okay. So the essence, unification, interconnectedness, and a sense of continuum is what this card implies. The circle reminds us we are all one dancers in a unified, continuous, inclusive circle. This card reminds us of the cycles of life and the evolving self, ever changing and always connected. Human, spirit, nature, the cosmos, all intrinsically connected. When the circle appears, it reminds you that you are connected to everything and everyone, including spirit. Spirit's essence beats in your heart and inspires you to co-create your world, knowing that you count, that you have purpose in this world. Imagine even a smile to a stranger can change the course of a life. When the circle invites you to dance in the sacred steps of life, know that your work, your love, your service brings greater value than you can know. Stay the course, keep dancing, and all will be well. And this is the truth. The Ace of Swords, right? Is we are all one and interconnected. When the circle comes as your medicine, you're meant to come to an understanding of the importance of decay and letting go. The importance of dying to an old form and being reborn anew. If you're faced with this, the challenge of loss or disappointment, remember this. In the circle of life, nothing is ever wasted. Love will seek itself again. Prosperity will come from a new idea or opportunity. And spirit always waits for you to find your place in the dance again. The dance of life. The circle of life. Okay. This is a beautiful because this ace to the king. This is like reached a full completion. And it's this interconnectedness. And water, this cups, does remind me of the collective of us all, right? And being a part, being one, being interconnected, being part of the whole, all that is creator, source, okay? And this is the truth, right? Beautiful. So that was the collective message for the day. And just take what resonates, leave whatever may not resonate, use your discernment. And if you're interested in more in a personal private reading, you can always reach out to me. And always unconditional love and light, so be it. And I'll see you guys in the next reading or video. Bye.